Today we're going to be recreating the Celebrity Nail Tech Nails and this is what my recreation looks like. Rate it in the comments. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. I hope everyone is doing well. I wasn't sure if the length was extra long or extended, so it's somewhere between 275 to 293 dollars, roughly 300 dollars. So she's a celebrity nail tech, so that's why the price is so high. Before I get into the video, I want to say this is definitely a trusted process type of video. You saw the results, so you know how it will turn out. So please just trust the process. We are just starting the video and we have a problem already. I didn't have three of the colors so what I had to do I had to mix them. So the consistency weren't the best and some of the colors didn't match exactly so what I had to do I had to go back over them with gel polish. You'll see that later on in the video. What I'm doing here is to add a thin layer of clear to help blend in the tip because when you're doing ombre you don't want the harsh line to show so as you can see here you don't even see where the tip meet the natural nail by the way i did add some acetone to the monomer because i used mainly dip powder to mix the custom colors and the powders are runny This yellow was mixed, this yellow was from my nail supply store so as you can see the consistency is okay, it was fairly easy to blend, very easy to work with. For my ombre I try my best to use medium beads because if you use dry beads the blend is going to be too harsh and if you use runny beads the blend is going to go too far down on the nail. My original plan was to go in with the glitters right after I do the color umber but I remembered that the glitter will go in the monomer and get into the other colors so I'm going to do the glitter last. So now I'm going to move on to the next nail and I think this one is a pink. I didn't even realize that this wasn't recording. So this is one of the colors that I had to went over back with with gel polish because I hated it. It was supposed to be a light pink. I don't know what happened. Next up is the blue. As you can see here, I had to really mix the blue acrylic because the acrylic powder is bigger than the dip powder so it's very easy to marble so I had to mix this really well before using it. The consistency of this one wasn't bad, the pink one was the worst. This one was a little bit on the drier side but I still managed to create the umber. I'm just going in right here and filling the gap. Buffing the acrylic had two benefits right here. I was going in with gel polish after this so it creates some texture for it. Also, it helps to smooth out the bumps because if you encapsulate it with the bumps in it, it will show. For the nails that I put the gel polish over, I used the applicator from the polish bottle for the top half of the nail but for the umber part, I used a sponge to blend that out. Here I was applying the loose glitters. In order to do that, I have to put down a thin runny layer of clear and then I put the glitters on that and try to mix it in so that it don't fall out. I 
and this is how the nails are looking after all the glitter has been added moving on to the encapsulation remember to use wet clear beads when you're encapsulating so that the nail can look clear because if you use um medium beads or dry beads you're going to be moving around the bead trying to get it to cover the nail and the more you move the bead around the more air it's going to trap inside it because you're using wet beads when encapsulating please remember when you're finished with the nail to go back in on the sides with the brush because the bead was wet so it's going to take a longer time to set and meanwhile you're working the acrylic is still moving so after you're finished go back in with the brush and try to get your shape back this was like two of my nightmares combined in one because first of all i'm not good at french tip and outlining the nail is kind of tricky because when you're outlining the nail you have to look from the top view you can't just put a thin line around the nail but i did manage to outline the nails properly the french tips were okay i had to go back in and erase some of it but i think they came out okay after this i'm going to go in with a second coat by the way I'm, i don't think i showed that so this is what the yellow nail was looking like after two coats of outline next up is the paint nail now if you look up at the cuticle you'll see that some of the color has been filed off that's because i used the gel polish over the acrylic so when i was filing i kind of fell off some of the gel but that's okay because remember the cuticle is going to be blinked out so it's not going to show this was the next day well not the next day in the morning because i was up all night doing these nails so i got some rest and then i woke up back and i started on the petal basically all i did for the petal was to just place five dots to form the five petals yeah that's that's it it was easy and after i placed the five dots i went ahead with a striper brush and then i kind of taper out the dots to form petals to make them look more like petals even though she didn't do this i did it because i thought my dots were too far apart and i wanted something to show that they are connected so i went ahead and tapered them in In the middle of her flower petal, she had some gold caviar beads, but I didn't have those, so what I used were some colored rhinestones. I used top coat to stick these on because I wasn't going anywhere. I just did this for the video, so yeah, even the gems at my cuticle, I used top coat for that too because when I'm finished, I'm just going to scrape them off. What she did for the cuticle bling was to put a large rhinestone in the middle and some small ones around it. I did the exact same thing but I think my small rhinestones were too big so it didn't really show the difference but it was still cute. I was looking at the picture and I saw that there was more glitter up on the nail part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some base coat and I'm just going to put um, a thin layer of glitter up there. Then I'm going to top coat the nail. This is my favorite part, top coating the nail, especially since this has glitter in it, it just reveals everything. Remember to put top coat underneath the nail if you want the nail to look extra clear and to wipe the sides to maintain your shape. This is a hack from Vanity Val on YouTube and she said you should 
use isopropyl alcohol to wipe off your AB rhinestones and it will make them look shinier and it did work I don't know if you guys can see it this is how these nails are looking I was super proud of how this turned out um, Klaus by Dior did a great job and I think these look really nice I was so proud of them I give these a 9 out of 10 Bye, have a great time.